We're going to talk fashion this morning with Jian Lee. Of course, a new season is here. G is at Got Style Clothing this morning, getting a look at some of the latest trends and styling and profiling. G, I like that. Nice color on you. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yes, what a beautiful color, right? So it's one of the colors that's going to be in for this spring. And can you guess what else is going to be trendy? The power blazer. Power suits are back for ladies. We're going to talk more about spring fashion. Joining me now is Melissa Austria with Got Style. Good morning. Good morning. Okay, I love a good red suit. Yes. This is beautiful. Yep. And it's definitely what you're saying. It's about the return of the power blazer and the power suit for women. Because as we're going back to work, let's make a statement with it. So, yeah, more and more people are going back into the office, yep. make a statement. So what are some of the trends for this spring? So definitely a lot of a double-breasted style. Mm -hmm. I would say the main thing for blazers and for suits, it's getting away from the boring black and the boring navy that you used to wear before. And if you're going back to work now, go for color. It makes a statement, and you can definitely mix and match it as well, too. So I can wear the red blazer with a pair of jeans. Right. So you can have fun with it. Um, definitely we're seeing a lot of this double-breasted style coming in. So like you said, you like the oversized blazer. Sure. Double-breasted is a great way to have that oversized look. And you don't always have to have it buttoned up. Yeah. And it's also about the new silhouette in pants. So we're seeing definitely more of a wider silhouette. Love that. I know. And when, when the, one of the best things about wearing a suit that guys can attest to, it makes it so easy to get dressed in the morning because you're not having to worry about coordination. You're just grabbing your suit, mm -hmm. grabbing whatever t-shirt, camisole, or blouse to put with it, but you're not having to match your soft sweater <laughs> with your soft pant. So no more soft for women. It's about tailored and power going back to the office. Now, I'm wearing a beautiful shade of purple. We saw Barbie take off yes. and it was all about pink. Are we done with pink? We're done with pink a little bit. You can still wear pink, but I'm really more into the purples, the red, the greens, um, the you know, the new blue, the brighter blue for women. So it's again more of those sort of primary power colors that'll make a difference. Now you notice the navy suit. Yes. I guess <laughs> you can't get rid of the classics. So how do you modernize this? Double breasted? and do the wider pant. Okay. So that's one thing I think that all women have to do is start incorporating that sort of fuller pant yes. into their wardrobe. And we sort of forget, because we haven't seen the wide pant for a couple of years, it does actually make us look taller and leaner. We think that a wider pant's gonna you know, make us look shorter and fatter, but it does the opposite. Oh, really? So it is actually a really slimming effect. And that's a really good tip. And then the reason I'm, I'm into the wider blazers now, like an oversized blazer, is because then you can wear a t-shirt and jeans on the weekend. 100%, okay. so you get multi-use. And I always find that I like wearing a blazer or a suit even when I'm going out at night. Mm. So I'll throw this over top of a camisole or I'll put it over top of a little back, black dress. Okay. I noticed the tweed suit. Yes. So bring your Chanel vibes yeah. happening. Oh, wow. <laughs> I did so not pretty. see the rhinestones. That's beautiful. But again, it's this mix and match. So when you've got that, you know, big corporate meeting, you wear it with like this. Yes. And then on the Friday, when you want to be a little bit more casual, t-shirt and a pair of jeans. Okay. And she knows that I'm a shoe person really quickly. What's in for shoes? Bows. Ah! Prettiness. <laughs> so it's like you've got the power on top yes. and then you pop it with a little femininity with Woo! the bows on it. <laughs> Love it. Thank you so much. Okay, so in our next segment, it's all about the men. Good morning. We are live here in the distillery district at Got Style, and it's really about being bold with your fashion. We're talking all about spring fashions. In our first segment, it was it was about women's wear. Now we're on to the men. Joining me now is Melissa Austria with Got Style and our model Matthew. Woo! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> so Melissa, what is on trend for men this spring? So it's sort of the opposite of what's happening with women. As women is getting more tailored, more structured, men are getting softer. <laughs> Yes, well, stop, especially stop. because they've had, um, you know, years of being working from home, wearing their sweatpants, wearing their hoodies, wearing their t-shirts. So the only way to get guys dressed up again is to make it as comfortable as possible. So it's all about jersey fabrics. So what's great oh. about jersey fabrics is it has a four-way stretch as opposed to regular clothes that have a two-way stretch. Mm -hmm. So, Matt, do a little... <laughs> one of these, one of these, one of these. Very comfortable. It's like a t-shirt and a cardigan. That's exactly. How soft this is, really, oh, okay. really. So this is something that you can roll into a ball. It's not going to wrinkle. So it's all about unconstructed jackets that don't have that structure 
structure of a shoulder pad that's super soft and super lightweight when it's on. Right. And it's everything. It's from blazers, from shirts. So this is like a t-shirt dress shirt idea. It looks like a dress shirt, but it feels like a t-shirt. And then all the way to the jersey pants where, Stop. let's do it a little bit of a deep knee bed. And I'm wearing a jersey well, they, suit as well too. I can do squats <laughs> like I do at the gym in these pants. It's so easy. I do one little pulse at the bottom. You know, we're good. So it's <laughs> all about this four-way oh, wow. stretch for guys. So women, we've known about stretch yes. for a long time. Guys are just discovering how comfortable it is so you can be comfortable but stylish at the same time. And there's time. a bit of an elastic it, Exactly, because we all know that everyone's gained a little <laughs> bit of weight. So you can be, again, comfortable, stylish. It's the only way we can get guys to kind of elevate their style when it comes to going back to work. And with po pockets on the side like that? Yes, yeah, so cargos are coming back for guys <laughs> and for women too, but it's all about a leaner cargo. So don't think about those 90s oversized yeah. cargo shorts. Mm -hmm. Think cargo, comfortable, but still a little bit on the leaner side. Okay, but it a is a minute just to talk about colors and um, also um, a, a two-in-one like this? Yes. Okay. So this is, again, you can wear this on the weekend over a t-shirt because it's got the hoodie. And then when you're going to work the next day on the Monday, you zip this out oh. and then you've got a great blazer. But you can notice that for the men's where the colors are softer. Mm. So they're still kind of in that elevated neutral vibe that's happening. So more softer blues, softer oatmeals, creams because it's kind of like that bougier vibe too. If it's a lighter color, like I can just get this dry cleaned if it gets dirty. <laughs> <laughs> but what's nice about neutrals like this is you can also add a real pop of color if you feel like right. it, right? Well, I find that most guys have a lot of blue already in their closet. So it's great that these elevator neutrals go great with the blues that you already have, but just uplifts it and gives it more of a modern statement. What I love about this look too is these jackets are so easy. I could wear a t-shirt with this mm. and a pair of jeans and these pants actually have a drawstring. So actually if I want to take my belt off, let it loose, yeah. throw on a t-shirt <laughs> or a hoodie, it changes the look completely. Got so you can it. go from office to gym, back home, do whatever. It's there you go. Exactly. <laughs> okay, some great ideas for men. There you have it. In our next segment, we're going to talk about the trench coat. So you don't want to miss out. We're having so much fun here at God Style. It's all about spring trends. One of the biggest trends, of course, trench coats. Joining me now is Melissa to talk about this. These are beautiful. These are stunning. So Canadian designer, Hilary McMillan. And it's all about that mob wife aesthetic that we saw happen in the fall that's continuing into the okay. springtime. Because we're kind of over the the cool girl, the minimalistic look, we want the Maximus look. So mob wife aesthetic, it's all about black, mm -hmm. gold detail, animal prints, and of course, you need the statement coat. Yeah, of course, <laughs> right? I love this faux fur. And this is removable as well, wow. so it does kind of convert to a denim trench coat. Yeah. But again, you want to make that statement, statement when you're walking into the room and definitely trench coats. So you get no more boring beige for us. No, no, no beige. More. <laughs> Take a look at the racks here. Like, look at this. So. <gasps> Now, Older some plaid. people would be scared of this plaid and this color combo, but you don't have to be, no, right? No, especially if you're wearing an all-black ensemble mm. underneath, then you can pop it with the plaid. Also, some bold colors, again, that we saw like in the women's suits. Yes. We're still seeing in the trenches as well. And I love how this has got the pink tipping yeah. on the very end. So we've got a bold orange. We've got lots of red happening, too. But again, if you want that mob wife aesthetic, yeah. animal prints. <laughs> you can never go wrong. You can with never animal. go wrong with animal prints, exactly. <laughs> because they never date. I always find with this mob wife aesthetic, it's great because you can always pull out the black pieces that you yes. have in your closet because we always have tons of black. Put a little bit of gold with it to give it that sparkle and then the wow coat. Right. And you need the attitude with it too, yes, right? Yes, exactly. You need, you need the mob wife <laughs> aesthetic. We just knock somebody off. Yes. You know? <laughs> now I know red is a huge color. What I like again is that pink piping. This is one of my favorite color combos. I know. Yeah. You don't really think about putting red and pink together, but it's just a, such a subtle detail that makes it really special. And honestly, even though it's a pop of color, you can never go wrong with a trench coat. Right. And it's, it's very more, versatile. You can put it over any color, and it's more just the statement that you're making when you walk into a room where everyone's going to be looking at you, and there's nothing wrong with that. Love it. And then there's also a whole row of other yes. trench coats here. And I see denim. It's still very popular. Yep. So the denim on denim look is yes. great. I love this one again with that 
faux fur collar that yeah. you can remove. So it gives you two different looks. So you're wearing this one right now, and then as it gets a little bit warmer, take off the faux fur collar, and you've got a great denim trench. Got it. And then this is what I love about this one. It's black, but, but it's, it's sparkly. Oh. Isn't it so cool? So this one, I could see you wearing it to a fancy event as right. well, right? Exactly. Instead of wearing like your wool coat, which yes. again might be a little too heavy, <gasps> this one with that shimmer to it just makes it extra special. Love it. Okay, so there you have it. Trench coat. In other words, the trend is? Mob wife aesthetic. <laughs> Mob wife aesthetic. Oh, yeah, totally. And then, of course, look at the boots. Animal prints. <laughs> Thank you so much, Melissa. This is so much fun. If you're anxious to feel that summer heat, um, there's no better place to get a taste of the weekend than the Toronto Salsa Bachata Festival. It's actually Ooh. happening at the downtown Sheridan. G is there live this morning. G is sort of setting the stage for us here. G, take it away. Oh uh, boy, these are some impressive wow. um, strengths, yeah. feats of strength here. Yeah, uh, there's no way I'm going to try that, just so you guys know. I'll try a basic dance move, but you're getting a sample of the competition dance that takes place uh, this weekend. Joining me now is co-founder Maya to explain all about the Toronto Salsa Bachata Festival. This is incredible. Good morning. Yes, it is incredible. This is something I can't do. Um, I'm, sure many, I'm sure many people at home can't do this, but it's so wonderful to watch. Um, if you like this sort of dance, come out to the uh, festival this weekend at the Sheraton Centre Toronto, the Toronto Salsa Bachata Festival. We have competitions. They begin at 9 p.m. Uh, and they go till 11, and then we're gonna be dancing until four o'clock in the morning. So right here we have uh, Eddie and Darlene, and uh, they are incredible, incredible uh, instructors from Toronto. They're gonna be teaching a workshop during the weekend as well. And uh, they are uh, veteran competitors. So um, this is something that you can expect this weekend. Now, I know Toronto's a very diverse city. How popular is salsa and bachata and these type of dances here in the city? It is very, very diverse. It's very popular. It's multi, multicultural. Um, and uh, I mean, as you can see even here behind me, everyone is, you know, from different parts of the world. We actually have um, people coming all the way from uh, Europe for the event. We have people from all over the US, from all over uh, Canada and even Central America. So it is very, very diverse and, and, and very popular because it's kind of like an, a universal language. We don't even have to speak the same language, but we can dance together. <laughs> <laughs> yes, anybody can dance, doesn't matter if you speak the language or not. Yes. And for those who don't do the competition dance, just come see the show, but then are, are there workshops? Are there other things taking place? Yes, during the weekend, Saturday and Sunday, from 11 in the morning until 6 p.m., we have workshops, four separate rooms of workshops. So we have over 60 workshops. And uh, like I said, we have instructors coming all the way from Europe, world-renowned instructors, US, Canada, all over Canada. Uh, so we're gonna have incredible workshops this weekend. If, if you're into dancing, come and check us out. We have workshops of all levels. Uh, we have beginner, intermediate, advanced, so any level dancer can come and attend and try it out and, and really enjoy it. And uh, like I said, even if you're not a dancer, come out for the shows. It's gonna be a lot of fun. It's gonna be a party. When you said it starts at 9 p.m., I go, oh my goodness, this is gonna go to the wee hours of the night, right? That's right, until 4 a.m. <laughs> 4 a.m., that's my kind of party. All right, thank you, Maya. So thank again, you. if you want more information, this place takes place Friday, Saturday, and Sunday here at the Sheridan. And for more information, just go to canadasbk.com. In the next segment, I'm gonna try some dance moves. Yeah, we are shimming our way through the day here at the Sheridan Center. This is just giving you a little sample of the Toronto Salsa Bachata Festival. You've got Abanico Dance here showing off some moves. And I can't think of a better way to wake up than doing a little bit of salsa. I'm gonna bring in Jordan here, who's gonna talk a little bit more about the Abanico studio. Jordan, come on over. Hi! How are you, guys? How are you doing? Do you always wake up in the morning just like that, yeah, ready to sorry, go? This is the breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me a little bit more about Abanico okay, uh, stu uh, yeah, dance studio. Abanico dance studio, uh, Abanico dance school, yeah. academy. It's um, a school like, yeah, we teach mostly all the Latin rhythms, salsa, bachata, reggaeton, even the Latin high heels, all this stuff, trying to keep with the new times. Yeah. Uh, we've been over 10 years. Me, personally, like I'm six years in the school, but I know the school is being a little longer than that. Yeah. Um, 
that's it. Like, yeah. Are you surprised, or are you are not surprised that salsa is so popular here in Toronto? Actually, uh, no, because I know every time to Toronto and Canada in general are coming more immigrants, and of course, yes. you need to bring your rice and beans and your salsa huh? and your bachata. Uh, yeah, you need to bring your salsa, you need to bring your bachata. Now, your life nice in this cold. <laughs> <laughs> what is it about salsa that just puts a smile on your face? Uh, I guess the way it's to be, you know, like salsa for me is, like I say, it's not, it's not joke, like it's like a breakfast. It's just made me happy and connect people. Salsa say, tell stories like everyone relates. And I guess this is what makes us be together, no? Yes. It's unique. And it's, Love it. And, uh, okay, you're gonna show me some dance moves. So let's yeah. come, I'll stand right here. You? Yes. We're gonna do a little bit of a dance lesson here, everybody. All right, so Jordan, walk me through the steps and okay. everyone can participate. First, we need yeah. to work on the tempo, on the yes. cadence. Yes, yes. Look at me, here. Pa, pa, pa. Okay. Ah, 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 right? And now on place with the left. Yes. Pump, one, pump, pump, pump. Pump. Five, okay. six, seven. There you go. One, two, three, five, six, seven. Okay. So this is the cadence. We right. actually with the timing of the song. Okay. Now basic step. Going forward. One, two, and three. three. And five. And let's go now with the timing. And one, two, three. three. Five, six. One more time. One, two. And so side to side. Same idea. Slow. One, two, three. And five, six. Good luck. Da, okay. Da, 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 <laughs> da, 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 da. One more time. Da, da, da. And last one, diagonal. Da. Slow. One, two, one, three, five, six, and you know. Da, 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 and closing with the favor of shimmy. Ah. Of course, you gotta finish with the shimmy. Okay, mm -hmm. why don't we all try together now? Okay, all the moves together. Ready? Da, two, yeah. two, and two, no? Ready? Basic. Ah. Two, three, okay. five, six, seven, and ah, so. Side, side, one, two, eight, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh. diagonals, e, pam, 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 ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh. and a chimney turn, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh. ah, 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 so again, the Toronto Salsa Bachata Festival this weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, right here at the Sheridan Center. For more information, CanadaSBK.com. We'll send it back to you in studio. We are live here at the Toronto Sheridan Centre. You're getting a little sample of the Toronto Salsa Bachata Festival. And we are looking at bachata right here, front and centre. Joining me now is Maya uh, with the festival. And Maya, tell me a little bit more of what we can expect this weekend. This weekend we have three concerts, not one, not two, but three concerts, Friday night, Saturday night, and Sunday night. The concerts begin at midnight, and these concerts are dancing concerts. So you're not sitting there, you're dancing, you're moving your body. They're bachata concerts. We have uh, Vinny Rivera, Mr. Don, and Mayim Bito. Those are three artists coming in to do live concert uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday at midnight. Okay, sounds good. Thank yes, you so thank much, you. Maya. Thank you. And I should give a shout out to who, uh, the providers of the shoes. Ah, oh, don't look at my toes. I haven't had a pedicure yet, but thank you to Amor Elise for lending me these shoes. All right, so this is Sonia and Sean. They're with Elite Dance. How are you? We're good. And I should say Elite Latin Dance. Yeah, so what can we expect from you this weekend? We're going to be bringing some teams to this big event. There'll be a lot of international artists, and uh, we're here to have fun. Yeah, of course, right? I don't know how you can do the interview after doing that dance routine. You get to breathe, so that's why. <laughs> Uh, Shaw, tell me a little bit more about Elite Latin Dance. Uh, it's a dance company founded by my wife and I about a few years ago. Uh, we have three locations now, Hamilton, Oakville, and Mississauga. We teach salsa, bachata, group classes, beginner all the way up, performance teams to what we do today, yeah. from the start to here. I love uh, salsa because anybody can do it, right? That's right. Um, all it takes is a couple of few steps and you're already be on the dance floor. Oh my goodness, yeah. how long have you been dancing? Uh, since probably 30 years. 30 years. Yeah. 
20 years. 20 years. Yes. All right. right. Okay, and I love it. And so uh, it's going to be a lot of fun this weekend. It's going to be an amazing weekend. We're going to be competing, performing, and Maya and Gary are bringing a whole host of amazing dancers, performers, artists all over the world. Okay. You guys should come. Now, <laughs> we're, you're going to show me a little spin, right? Yeah. Yeah. All right. So what do I do for this? Do you want me to hold that? Yes. Okay, so we're going to hold the hand. Yes. We're going to drop the wrist in front this way. Yes. Drop the elbow down. Okay. Tuck that in. Like here. Yeah. And then we're going to try to just go this way. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try one more time. I believe we can. Okay. Yes. Like this? Okay. Yeah. Here we go. 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 Oh, oh wow. Yay. My gosh. Thank you. So I'll let you guys take it away. Go ahead. Thank you so much. And again, this is the Toronto Salsa Bachata Festival taking place this weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, here at the Sheridan Center. All you have to do is go to CanadaSBK.com for information and tickets. We'll send it back to you in studio. here. I really am a beginner, but you are looking at the pros right there. Oh my goodness, did you just see that? So you're getting a little sample of what is called kizomba. So we saw salsa, we saw bachata, um, and now we're getting a look at this very sensual dance. Joining me now are Lakeisha and Java to explain a little bit more about kizomba. And I like how you just <laughs> made your oh, way. <laughs> oh, so we had to come. It's okay, a festival, so Lakeisha, right? tell me a little bit more about kizomba. Absolutely. So kizomba is originally from Angola. It is a partner dance. It's very sensual, but definitely something you can dance with your family and friends. And I'll let Java talk a little bit more about it. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, Kizomba came from Angola, right? And now it's interna an international dance. It's good to uh, actually start uh, celebrating here. We actually started celebrating here in Toronto at the Canada Kizomba Congress. So for and all these years, we've been celebrating uh, Kizomba in Canada. And now you're going to teach lessons here for the uh, Salsa Bachata Festival this weekend. Yes. yes, we are. Yes, we are. We have uh, uh, an intensive course that we actually bring a beginner all the way to intermediate in one sitting. So that will be good to see. It's a sensual dance, right? Yes, yes. Sensual dance. Yes. yes. And so anybody can do it, but it's really just letting loose, feeling the music and feeling your emotions. Yes, That's it's about connection. getting it's about getting that hug while you're listening to good music. You know? I we like don't that. get that hug a lot, yeah, right? Yeah. So there we go. <laughs> okay, and tell me a little bit more about your dance studio. Yes, our dance studio is a Worth Gallery, 830 uh, down this west. And we're actually launching our first classes in April 6th at 1 p.m. at Worth Gallery. So if you're interested, come and enjoy. Come, I'll hug you personally. Don't worry. I'll hug you personally. Yeah. So the Nizou, Nizou, yes. Nizou dance studio. Okay, That's great. Yeah. You're going to show me one little move. I'll let oh, you guys yes. show first. Oh, yeah. Go ahead, Lakeisha, oh, yeah. and show me. Perfect, perfect. Okay. So. The move is going to be a flying dip. Okay, so we're going one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh! And I have to do that? You okay, let me show Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on for a second. Got okay, it, got let's it, got try. It, got okay, ready? So we're going to go from yes. here. One, one, two, three, forward. Now back. Right. Side to side. And. <laughs> There we go. We did it. <laughs> we, we did, did it. it. How did I do you look? Congratulations. Yeah. For level one. There we go. We made it, right? I'm not sure it was that sexy, that sensual. It was. It was. Like I was watching. You executed it well. Yay. So you got it. Thank you. Okay, I'll let you take it away. Thank Again, you. you're getting a sample of everything you can see this weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, here at the Sheridan Center, the Toronto Salsa Bachata Festival. Thank you, everyone, for joining us this morning. For more information, CanadaSBK.com. And if you're looking to freshen up your wardrobe, home, food, or anything else this spring, why not check out the One of a Kind show? Our One of a Kind, Jian Lee, is live this morning at the show, so you fit right in. G, how's it looking today? 
Ah, uh, good morning, Nick. Good morning, Jen. Spring is in the air. I know it didn't feel like that on Friday with the snowstorm, but that's all gone now. The snow's gone and the flowers have bloomed. And that is the theme of this year's One of a Kind show. Joining me now is the director of the One of a Kind show, Janice Leung. Hi, how are Hi, you? I'm good. How about you? I like that we're all in our spring colors. For sure. <laughs> with spring just around the corner, um, this year bloom is our competition. You know, spring is all about new beginning and new mm. life. So this is what this is all about. And we ask our artisans to create a piece based on this theme and um, this is a great celebration of that. Love it. Walk us through some of these pieces. For sure. So um, each of the artisans are asked to create a piece using their medium. So obviously we have clothing, we have accessories, we have perfume, we have glass, a little bit of everything and that's a good representation of what the One of a Kind show is all about. And again, it's the theme is bloom so you can see that clearly here in these beautiful earrings. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I always recommend that if you are new or if you are, you know, um, if you are also coming to the One of a Kind show again, this is a great place for you to get a good preview of what the One of a Kind show is all about. Mm -hmm. You see the diverse talent and the diverse product categories. Yeah, this dress is spectacular. Um, I hope it translates well on camera because I don't think people can see the material used in it. Yeah, this is a textile artist, yeah. so it's all handcrafted and, like you said, meticulous details and beautiful textures. Wow, beautiful. And tell me a little bit more of the highlights this year for the One of a Kind show. For sure. Um, this year, we have over 350 artisans coming from all across Canada, uh -huh. you know, from art to apparel, fashion to food. We have a little bit of everything for everyone perfect in time for spring if you're looking to refresh for the new season. And I love the fact that it's falling on the long weekend, which That's is right. so great for families who want to do something. For sure. So in addition to all the shopping, we have great DIY workshops lined up. We have fun main stage presentation. Uh -huh. So if you're looking for something to do fun and creative, the One of a Kind show is the perfect place to do that. Yeah. And you know what I've, I've realized is during the pandemic, I think it allowed people to really tap into their creative minds. And we're seeing a lot of of people coming out of that doing mm -hmm. new things creating things and and you're gonna see that here at the show that's right um, I think the pandemic has brought on a lot of um, what, what is important to people uh -huh. so that is what this is all about so the one of a kind show will take place March 27th to the 31st at the Endo Care Center yeah and there's lots to do like bring the kids mm -hmm. lots of fun activities shopping a bit of everything <laughs> perfect way to spend the long weekend Janice you had me at shopping <laughs> <laughs> and what I love the best is that they're truly one of a kind pieces absolutely mm -hmm. um, everything is created with love and intention and I think that is what makes coming to one of a kind so special it is this kind of magical combination of creativity community and connections okay thank you so much janice thank you so much how beautiful is this table okay it's made of wood i love it and we have an incredible giveaway uh, we are giving away a prize that's valued at over 500 dollars. so this is what you're getting you are getting four one of a kind show tickets a $150 gift certificate so you can go shopping, a Vivian Sophia Designs custom tote bag, a Brightfield candle and Reed diffuser gift set, Stump Craft 25, Your Journey by Janet K. McKay puzzle, Freon Collective Mini Cosmetic Bag, a Bees Butter Canada Rose and Yarrow Body and uh, Oil and Restorative Serum, Eve's Crackers, all of that for a total value of over $500. Here's how you can win this incredible prize. Just go to cp24.com slash contest and enter this code word, bloom. Wow. Right? So pretty, yes. Pair this with like a beautiful summer dress mm -hmm. and just make a statement out of it. <laughs> um, so this is just one of the cool things that you could find here at the One of a Kind show. We're talking about unique, one of a kind pieces. And then of course, uh, there are so many vendors here available. So we're gonna give you a little sample of what you can find here. Joining me now is Janice Leung uh, with the One of a Kind show. Hi. Hi. Janice, this is spectacular. And it actually goes perfectly with your lavender outfit. <laughs> right? Because that's what it is. The theme is bloom. It is spring. So walk me through some of these other beautiful items. For sure. Um, this basketball planter is from a Toronto-based company. With every planter sold, the money actually goes back to funding um, workshops that empower young women through sports and mentorship. Beautiful. And I love that it's a basketball. Mm -hmm. How fun is that? All right. So what is this? So this is a wooden gramophone made from recycled skateboards. So um, Neil, 
who is a huge music fan, has always been trying to look for a piece that fuses vintage sound with yes. modern technology, and this is his invention. And it works. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? That's incredible, and I love the colors, mm -hmm. and I love that it's like using recycled materials. Yeah, this is a great example of a product on why people come to the One of a Kind yeah. show. It's about finding these unique, amazing pieces. Okay, I love tea. So Tealish is a longtime exhibitor, and this is a new product that, that they're launching just in time for warmer weather. It is a matcha green tea. Yeah, and it looks like it's sugar-free mm -hmm. too, which is nice. And of course, some chocolate. So this is a Vancouver-based company, um, Living Lotus, and they create beautiful chocolate bars using very few ingredients but the high quality ingredients mm. and then this is so pretty and you should see the bottom too like look at the yeah this is updo a toronto based um, accessories company again beautiful purses all handmade here in toronto okay and then walk me through some of these pieces. Um, and then this um, pen here is from a father-daughter duo so their company name is the um, artisan pensmith mm -hmm. and they're all about creating beautiful writing instruments and then this here is from jilly francis so she paints the sky every single day so with every single piece that you see it is a, there's a date on it so this is a great gift if you want to commemorate a milestone birthday or a special anniversary and then we also have Keepsake Studio, I'm an illustrator based here in Toronto. All her designs are based on her watercolor um, paintings. Freon Collective, a cute little pouch. Um, this is perfect for spring, great for traveling. Um, and then Pomp and Ceremony. Um, she makes beautiful bow ties, neckties that are using fabric from um, quality, high quality fabric from Italy and England. So this is great if you have a special occasion this spring. And, you know, for, for men who are watching this or anybody, women mm -hmm. who like wearing ties, because I love wearing ties, this is a great way to add a pop of color to for a very sure. simple classic suit. Mm -hmm. And then this here is a great way to also insert a bit of color for home, for your home this spring. Right. So this is made from um, hand uh, tie, uh, ropes and oh. using both vintage and new fabrics. Beautiful. And then finally, we've got this art piece here. So this art piece is from someone in our um, Rising Star section, yeah. which is a section all about emerging makers. So um, this is the paper narwhal, and it is a cute little whimsical domestic scene with beautiful pastel colors that, again, adds a nice touch for your, for your home. Okay, thank you so much, Janice. I love all these gift ideas. You know, Mother's Day is just around the corner. My birthday is just around <laughs> the corner. This gives you some ideas. Thanks, Janice. And we have an incredible giveaway. We're giving away four tickets to the One of a Kind show, plus a $150 gift certificate, plus so many other incredible items from various vendors here at the show. We're talking like a customized <coughs> custom bag, as well as uh, a Bees Butter Canada Rose and Yarrow Body and go. Face Oil. Come on. So it's a total value of over $500. All you have to do is go to cp24.com slash contest. You're code word is bloom because spring has sprung the flowers are blooming and that's what this is all about and for um, more information on the show should be it the starts who, today um, runs through till the 31st oneofakindshow.com Good morning. We are live here at the Enter Care Center. Today is the start of the One of a Kind Show Spring Edition runs through till uh, March 31st. How cute is that? I love it crocheted little sneakers. Joining me now is Alia from Inity. How are you? Great, G. How are you? I'm good. Okay, I love those. Oh, thank you so much. Thank right? you so much. What a great gift idea for somebody who's just had a little baby. It is, it is. It's Jeez. a good keepsake too, and I can also customize it with personalized lettering and stuff like that. Amazing. Tell me a little bit more of Inity. Inity, so we're Inity Original. We're yeah. a roots and culture clothing brand based in Toronto. Mm -hmm. And we sell a wide variety of crochet hats, beachwear, um, crochet shoes and cover-ups. Everything is one of a kind or limited edition. Knitwear has come back in a big way. I know I see it a lot on the beach and people love it. It has, it has. It has been making a big comeback in the last two years. Mm -hmm. So. Actually, I started my business in 1998. Yes. Uh, making crochet hats yes. for dreadlocks. And um, I took a break because I had children. And now I'm back here because my passion for fashion is so strong. So I'm back here, out here now, just doing my thing, making the crochet beach cover ups and trying to expand my business here, working with the Ilio community market and 
Thank you very much. Tell me, what does Ainati mean? So Ainati, actually, it's um, a Rastafarian word, and it means unity. So instead of saying you and I, it's I and I, because we're all one. See, I love that. And you would never know unless you knew the meaning of that. Yes. What a beautiful name. Thank you so much. And if people want information and where to buy the items, where can they go? They can go to www.inity.com. O R I J A H N A L dot com. Uh -huh. Or they can check us out on Instagram, Inity Original, yeah. Facebook, and TikTok. Love it. And again, how cool are the hats and the, I love those shoes. Good job. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And then, of course, we're still here in the Ilio Community Market. And joining me now is Kadesha. She is with Untainted Bath and Body. And I love the story behind this as well. Good morning. Hi, good morning. So tell me how you started this company. What was the reason behind it? So it was inspired by my journey into motherhood. When I was giving birth to my son in 2015, mm -hmm. I wanted to create something safe and natural. So I started creating my own bath and body products using pure ingredients ingredients like shea butter, coconut oil, herbs and spices. And five years later, this is what we have. Tell me about yes. some of your products here. So what we do is we create soaps, body butters, lotions, shampoos, using all natural ingredients. Again, like shea butter, coconut oil, herbs, spices and clays. Some of our products are even edible, like our vanilla bean body butter. Right and our um, orange, uh, sorry, original coconut body butter. What are some of the more popular items here? What have people gravitated towards? So definitely our sea moss body cream. Oh. Our lavender whipped body butter. Uh -huh. And our oats and aloe soap bar, okay. which is scent free um, and has a bit of exfoliant in there with oatmeal. Those are definitely some of our most popular products. And we have some samples here, so what do I do? So basically, you just grab one of these yeah. sticks, take a little bit, a little bit goes a very long way. Got it. Um, I recommend lavender, which people tend to love. Is it because it's soothing, the yeah. scent? It, it oh, it does go great. a long way. <laughs> yes, yes. Okay, okay, okay. And you just go like that? Yes, you just <gasps> lather up. Oh my gosh. I wish people could smell that. That yeah. smells delicious. Yes, thank you. Um, for more information, where can people go? So you can check out my website, yeah. which is www.untainted.ca. And we're also on Instagram at Untainted Bath and Body. And look at that. My skin is glistening. I love it. Thank you <laughs> Thank so much. You. Congratulations again. Thank you so much. And we have an incredible giveaway. You can come to the One of a Kind gift show. Check out some of these incredible products. It starts today, runs through till March 31st. We're giving away not only four tickets, but also a $150 gift certificate, plus so many other cool goodies from various vendors as well. Customized bag, face oil, Eve's crackers. It's all tossed in for a prize valued at over $500. All you have to do is go to cb24.com slash contest. Your code word is bloom. Oh, we're having a great time, Bill. And yeah, talk about feeling like spring. I know it doesn't feel like it right now outside, but it certainly does here inside at the Intercare Center. And now we're going to talk about candles and diffusers. Joining me now is Christina. She is the founder of Brightfield. Good morning. Good morning. Right away, as soon as you walk up to your booth, it smells beautiful. Tell me a little bit about the candles here. Thanks, yeah, so they're all handmade from our studio in the beach mm -hmm. on the east end of Toronto. And it's all about helping you spark joy in your everyday. So scents that will make you remember a happy memory, inspired by nature, or just anything that could make you feel good. I love the names, like for example, Skinny Dip. What does Skinny Dip smell like? It's a really beautiful mix of wildflowers, sea salt, amber, and honey. Oh, okay. And it's beautiful oh. in your house. People love that one. And Fruit Loops. These are great names. Thank you. Yeah, we have a lot of fun coming up with the names. And I love the fact that when you sell a candle, part of the proceeds go to Second Harvest. Tell me a little bit about that. Yes, yeah, so it's really important to us to give back to our community. So whenever we sell a candle, we donate to Second Harvest. And it's three meals um, for someone that could use it for every candle that we sell. So really just going beyond, you know, the beautiful ambiance of a candle. Yeah. and giving back to people that really need it in our area. What a great idea. We're going to make a diffuser. I've never done this. Yeah, okay, I'm so excited. Okay, so walk me through this. Okay, so we're going to mix half and half. Uh-huh. Uh, so I'll mix this part, okay. half and half. And then you can add the fragrance. I've pre-blended a custom blend. And this one is linen, so it smells like a spring day. It's lilac, lemon, and jasmine. 
Is it popular? Yeah, it's really popular for people that just want their home to smell really beautiful, clean and fresh. Um, you know, even if you have kids or pets, it just um, always makes your home smell clean. So then we're just gonna mix for two minutes. And it's just combining, and all of these are natural, so it's safe to have with little ones, um, even with elderly people, if you might not want to be burning a candle, mm -hmm. um, but they're just a really great option. So then you can just add your funnel. Right, and you just pour it in there? Yeah, you can just pour it in there. I can smell it already. Perfect. Okay. And, and then, then you just add your diffuser sticks. And then how do you use the sticks? You just leave it in there? Yep, you'll leave it in there and once a week you can just flip the sticks to refresh the scent anytime you need it. It'll make your house smell clean, fresh, beautiful. Oh, that smells lovely. Thank you. And then some people actually use a spray to double up on the scent yeah, in the room, Yeah, exactly. Right? People love layering scents, yeah. especially you could even mix and match. So you could have the linen reed diffuser mixing with the skinny dip candle. Great. And it just creates a really beautiful floral scent. Thank you so much. Congratulations again. And we have an incredible giveaway. We're giving away four tickets to the One of a Kind show, plus a $150 gift certificate, plus so many goodies from various vendors here at the show. Starts today, runs through till March 31st. Here's how you can win this incredible prize valued at over $500. Just go to cp24.com slash contest. Your code word is bloom. And for more information on the show, just go to oneofakindshow.com. Starts today, runs through till March 31st. Good morning. We are live here at Stephen Sabados's studio, and we're going to create 3D stencil art. Joining me now, of course, is designer and artist Stephen Sabados. Hi. Good morning, darling. Okay, so stencil art. So this is part two of our faux finishing <laughs> workshops that we've been doing. <laughs> so I want to talk about uh, stenciling because stenciling—it's a great art form. Mm -hmm. uh, you can do it with so many things, and I, I hand cut most of my stencils. You can purchase stencils anywhere these days. Um, but when you do a stencil, generally, if, when you do a, a flat stencil, you get a flat image. Right. But today we're going to be talking about, so here, this image has been stenciled on, okay? But through shading and shadowing, you can really get fantastic dimension yeah. from just a simple stencil. I okay? can't believe that. That's beautiful. So easy peasy. So we're going to start with the easiest one for the introductory. <laughs> Circles. And we're going to be doing bubbles. Oh, bubbles. So 3D bubbles. Okay. So here we're going to take some uh, little bit of paint here. Yes. Um, and we're just gonna get our stencil brush. Very important to have a stencil brush, okay? okay? So we're gonna lightly dip it in, uh -huh. okay? And almost take most of the paint off. Oh. Okay? Okay. And here we have our stencil, yes. so we're gonna hold it down. You grab, grab yours. And circular motions. We're gonna think the light is coming from here, so where Ken is now, right. so the light. So everything's gonna be darker on the bottom. Oops. Oh, I see where it's saying. And lighter on the top. Okay. So you're sort of the reverse. So you're doing darker. Oh, 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 okay, okay, okay. So, so, see here? So if we do the darker down here, and that's oh. where you can see it already pops. So yours, the, the light would be coming straight from this got top. Got it, so what's got you it. So once we have this, yes. then now we know this is the shadow. So I'm gonna take the stencil again, just, just lower the it. the shadow, okay. And just ever so lightly, just add a little bit in here, and you see, can see, see there's it. a little shadow there. So depending on what sizes you use, yes. let's see where you're going there. Uh, okay, so you did a great drop shadow. Oh, yeah. thank you. Right. And then depending on where you, um, where you place the drop shadow, so here this one would be a bit darker. Yes. So if that's our bubble there, and if we want the bubble to really float, we can put the shadow here, and you see the bubble almost lifts that little bit higher. It does. You know? Now here's another quick little thing I just wanted to say as well. Yes. There's a thing called interference, All which right. is a, a type of paint. I'll just squeeze it on here. And look, I can see it that ha here. It's hard to see, but it's, it's got a pearl finish a to it. A pearlized kind of finish. So what I would do then is I would just take a little bit of this, uh -huh. tap it on the brush, and then right at the top of the bubble, just tap on some of this here. Mm -hmm. This brush is a bit dirty now, but. And what does um, that do? And what you'll see here is I'll show this here. Ken, I don't know if you can see this, but let's have a look. 
Can you kind of see the top of the bubble? Yes. It gives almost like a pearlized fish scale kind of thing. Anyway, it's called interference. Okay. It gives um, a texture to it. Yeah, and like yeah. a little bit of a, a, a bubble sheen. I love it. Yeah. And this is this would make a beautiful piece of artwork in, in your room, right? Great. Kids' rooms, beautiful. super cute. And any color you can do, like literally any color in the world. But I think bubbles, totally fun. Even yeah. sort of graphic if you did it in black and white. Yes. Would be a cool little powder Black room and thing, white would be great. Right? So, next one we're gonna do. Nice. This is level two. <laughs> uh, this is the, the diamond tufting. And I think there's a, a photo we have of, yeah. of a diamond tufted wall, yeah? Yes. Okay, so that's we're what we're trying to replicate. Okay, we're showing that picture right now. Yeah. So that gives you an idea of what you can do. And that's an actual real diamond tufted wall. Wow. But I used to do this back in the day on walls, doors, kids' rooms. It just adds a really interesting texture. So how do we do that? So the first thing, now what I've done for you is yes. I've, I've created a stencil here, um, and it's just, <laughs> it doesn't look like much, but you'll see what happens. And then, like I said, you can cut it out of mylar. Uh -huh. And uh, this here, this is available on my website, on my blog, on Ask Seen on CP2 for Breakfast. Okay, stevensabados.com. So, he's, uh, he's allowing you to print out the stencil for free. You can take my free. stencil, absolutely. Yeah, okay, yeah. and do so this at do home that. yourself. Super easy. So here we go. So let's take these. You yes. know what? Let's, I'm going to put these right in the middle here. Okay. So we can see this. So we have our stencil. Okay, we have our base coat here, yes. which I've uh, painted out in a taupe. Uh -huh. And here we have our two boards with our paint. Yep. So this is just the same base color paint. Yeah. And then I have a tiny bit of brown. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna place the stencil down. Uh -huh. We're gonna dab on some of the paint, touch on the tiniest bit of brown. Okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna create the drop shadow, right? Oh, I see. So, and here we go. And then we're just going to stencil ever so lightly with our stencil brush. Yep. Okay. And you were just going to, the the stenciling thing that we're doing, it's called poncing. Poncing? Poncing. Okay. So we're gonna ponce this on. And you can see here, we're gonna get, oh, this one's a little oh. too dark. So the, the brush should almost be pretty well dry. Okay. And so once and, it's done, because we have to wrap it up. Okay, but so see? So you're going to start to see, what we're going to do is we're just going to stencil just on the inner part. Right. And <sighs> see, it already is starting to come to together. I see. Like super, super, super easy. We do that, and uh, then it literally comes out to something like this. There you go. Something fun for the kids, something easy. you could do at home. Easy peasy. And again, the stencil is available at stevensabados.com for free. You Thank you, it. Steven. So we did 3D stencil art in the last segment. Now we're going to give you some great ideas to make your table setting look like thousands of dollars, but really this costs nothing. Literally nothing. Literally yeah. nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I noticed there's a theme here. There's a theme here. And this is uh, being based off of literally a paper napkin. Okay, so that's what I really want to talk about. So, yeah, so go on, and here we have, uh, you know, say for a last minute table setting, yes. whether it be Easter, birthday party, whatever, it doesn't matter. Invest in those good quality paper napkins, you know, those, those three ply, yeah. as my mom would say, the fancy ones. The fancy ones. The fancy napkins. And you, you take off the two layers. So what we're gonna do is, yeah, you can see here, so what you're doing now. So you're gonna pull off the two layers. Yes. Because we just want sort of the decorative back layer. Okay. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to wrap a candle. Okay. So we all have these at home, right? And when this sort of happens, when the candle sort of does that, yeah. you're like, most people throw it away. So what we're going to do is we're going to just hack away at it and we're going to crack it all down uh -huh. to remove. So we have this, okay? Because okay? so, otherwise people just throw it away and well, that's you, a waste. You normally throw it away, and exactly. And pillar candles, they're not, they're not cheap. They're no. expensive, right? So we're going to take this. We are going to get one of our sheets here. Yes. Okay, we're going to lay this down. Whoops, sorry. <laughs> here we have uh, parchment paper. Right. Not wax paper, parchment. Parchment. So we're going to lay this down. We're going to put our candle here. We're going to line it up. Yeah. And this is the one where we've removed the two other layers. Removed the two other layers, okay. right. So now we're going to wrap it. And what I want you to do, I'll do you want it. to hold? Yeah. So we have a hot iron here. Uh -huh. And I don't know if you can kind of see, as soon as you, see see what's happening? Yes. So as soon as you put the iron on this. It starts to adhere? It's starting to adhere because we're melting the top wax. Uh -huh. And you just keep rolling, ironing, roll. And again, it's important to have parchment paper. Yes. Right? <laughs> And you can see here what's going to happen is that we didn't continue it, but the, the candle will completely wrap 
and then you can just peel, peel off the top little edges. And when you're done, you have this little guy Stop. here. And this is actually wax now because the wax went right through the tissue. That, so I can't believe that that's from this napkin. That's all it is. And you've applied the same thing to other items here on the table. So the next thing, yeah. So what we're going to do is we can just take literally any glassware you might have. Uh -huh. if you, you've decoupaged before. No. What? <laughs> oh, come on. Gee, okay. So here, put the, put the decoupage glue yes. all over. So any kind of glassware you might have, whether it be dollar store, uh, you know, this is an old uh, decanter that I have. Uh-huh. So just literally brush it on. All right. All over? Yeah, there we go. Okay. And we're just going to start lay, laying this on. And then with the brush, just lightly dab it on. And we're going to completely cover any kind of glassware. Right? And Let that dry completely yes. thing. And then we have our little vases. <gasps> now also, what I did was I went and I found at a uh, uh, second hand store with these uh, glass charger plates. Yes. So how awesome. So what we did, same thing, decoupage at the back. Okay? Yes. And then we have this here. So our charger plate now, when this goes on here, Look at that. It looks fantastic. That right? looks fantastic. This looks like a million bucks. And Honest, then honestly, what I love is that if you get tired of this pattern. If you get tired of the pattern and all of a sudden you're like, oh, I don't want this anymore. Yeah. Soak it in hot water and it'll come right off. And then you Just, can put a different type of You can of put pattern. a different thing or you can right back to the glass. So you're not ruining anything, even if it is maybe an expensive vase or something you might yes. have. Don't worry about it. It'll come right off. And, uh, and then now your whole table has like, like a nice theme and it literally looks like... A you million spent bucks. a lot of money. Now yeah. here's one final great tip. Look at this bouquet of flowers. Tell me a little bit. This about. is my trick. Okay. <laughs> Invest in really good high-end artificial flowers, right? Because mm -hmm. that's where your money is. And then go and buy real greenery. Because the greenery is the cheap part. Yeah. So here I went and I got these beautiful roses, which would be a lot of money. Um, but they look real. Once you sort of put all the greenery around them, you kind of don't know <laughs> what's real and what's, what's fake. not. Just don't touch it. Yeah. <laughs> smoke so, and mirrors. Smoke and mirrors. <laughs> but that looks amazing. And now you're ready for your party. Absolutely. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. Steven, yeah. this is mind blowing. Well, let's eat. <laughs> let's sit down for dinner, shall we? <laughs> Sounds good. Oh, my goodness. Great tips once again. For more information on lots of things and about Stephen, you can go to stephensabados.com. You can download that stencil art that we did yeah. um, in our last segment for free.